Hi, it's Ola from Maker.io, and I'm going to show you how to salvage an old Flash dress-up game or similar game, which has bitmap assets. So this beautiful game was donated graciously by RinmaruGames.com, and it has bitmap assets. And I'm actually lucky enough that I have the original Flash.fla file. But I've played around with a bunch of different methods, and ironically, I found that Pulling the bitmaps out of the Swift file, the ready game to play game file, generated a better result and was easier. So that's the method I'm suggesting right now. So I'm in the SoThing Swift decompiler, which is kind of an ancient program that um, those that have been around Flash for a long time are probably familiar with, but it still works great. And I have my Flash file here, my Swift. And all I'm going to do, I'm not going to crack it or export a Flash file. I'm just going to open it and find all the image assets. So here are the images. Uh, if we click, there's some backgrounds. Then we get into the items and so on. Great. I want all those things. I'm going to select all 745. And I believe this says export resources. It's getting hard to tell with high res monitors and old programs aren't meshing that well sometimes, but um, I'm just pulling out images, so this looks okay, good, okay. So then once the export is done, it will prompt you if you want to open all the assets in the NIP folder. And I do, but I've actually pulled these out earlier. I have them ready to go. So here they all are, but they're all separate. So now what we do, we go to Photoshop, File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And we find our files. And I'm not going to pull the backgrounds in for this because they're easy enough to deal with later. Right now I'm just concerned about lining all the items up on the doll. That's the tricky part. So I'm going to select, sorry, you can't see that, select everything. Except here we get into the menu items and I don't want that. I just want the assets for the doll. So I click OK. And then you click OK, and you want to, at this point, grab a coffee, do something, anything, go have lunch, because this is a super long process. Photoshop will open every one of those 700 images, copy and paste them all into one PSD file, which is what we want. But this takes a long time. So I actually did go and have lunch, uh, because it was taking a long time, and when I came back from lunch, it was ready. Uh, this is a smaller file I'm showing you now, but I noticed that, trying to figure out what's what, these are the animal tails on the bottom, and then we are into the capes, because when we load the images in, the way they're selected, they load bottom to top or something, so uh, they are in the reverse order that I would want. The capes I want at the bottom, and the tails, and so on. So you just select all your files, hold down Shift, and then Layer. Uh, where is it? Arrange. Reverse. And then it's just a matter of figuring out what's what, uh, grouping similar items together, putting them in folders in the proper maker way. So here's the file after I already organized everything. I've yet to put everything in its final position, but all the layers are grouped properly. All the outlines are matched with their fills. And this actually took me less than I thought. It only took me about an hour or two. And now I have to add color. So the original flash file used filters to color the black and white artwork. But the filters in Photoshop, you, you can't get quite the same effect. So what I found works well in this example is I make a new layer, hold down Alt to mask, fill this in with the color I want, and then I change the blend mode to, I believe it was hard light. So see, now we have a nice uh, brown hairstyle with highlights, low lights. The sheen is with the outline layer. And now I just get the hex code and start adding the proper maker coding. And now the button for this hairstyle will be this color. Control J to make a new set. And here I can make a different color. Say a much darker brown. Paste the hex code. Whoops. Yeah, so this is hairstyle 17 color picker and so on and you just prep your whole file that way according to the other maker tutorial and upload it to maker.io and um, the game will work. Thank you.